From the rooftop pool to the in-house spa, Soho House is all about luxury. The cuisine, of course, is no exception. I'm Vivia Gugnani here at Soho House Restaurant in New York City. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef for some exclusive eats. I'm here with Executive Chef Neil Ferguson. Neil, I see Spanish mackerel. What are we making with it? So we're going to do some lovely roasted Spanish mackerel, uh, some marinated fingerling potatoes, and some pickled red onions. Four simple ingredients. We've got white wine vinegar, white wine, uh, a little water, and then some sugar. Simple as that. We're going to just put those onto the stove to come up, come up to the boil. Once that's come up to the boil, we're going to pour it onto these little slices of red pearl onions. Oh, they're pretty. So to achieve that, all we've done is taken some little peeled pearl red onions. You use your handy mandolin. Our handy mandolin. We wash our fingers and just nice, nice and easily over the top. They're all even that way. They are all even, nice and regular. They cook at the same time. Once this is up to the boil, we're just going to pour that on top of the, the onion rings and just let it sit overnight. So the next step for our, our recipe is the vinaigrette, which is the marinade for our fingerling potatoes. So we've taken some banana shallots or torpedo shallots. Just a, nice long ones. So two ways of doing the same job, basically. Two little interesting ways of cutting a really fine dice or brunoise of, of shallot. Uh, one is what you call the classic, classic technique. Where we're just going to cut down really finely this way. You hold your fingers back so you don't right. come off. Right. Make a claw with your <laughs> fingers so you don't lose the tips. And then we just go down really fine. Turn it around, and then we go horizontally a couple of times. And then finally, very sharp knife, we go down the other way. So we get our lovely fine dice. And the other technique, um, pretty interesting. We're basically going to top and tail the shallot. Pop those away and we can use those to make sauces. And then you can see all these all these layers. Yeah. We're basically gonna take those off and cut like a julienne, flatten it down. Okay, so you press it a little bit with your palm. Right. And then same thing. Cut a lovely julienne. And again, turn it, flip, and then just it flip it the other way. And you get a nice dice as well. Right. So we've got a nice hot, nice hot pan here. I'm going to put a little, little olive oil into the pan and just sweat those shallots so they're nice and see-through. You just soft. want them translucent. Exactly that. So the shallots go in. Thank you. Throw those in. And they're right. super tiny. You don't want them to burn, so you've got to be careful. Right, exactly. They're going to cook in about 30 seconds. just want to take that harsh edge off of them. I'm going to add a little, about a tablespoon of sherry vinegar. From Spain? Yep. And then to that, we're going to add about the same amount, again, about a tablespoon of honey. So you get the acidity of the vinegar, and you have the sweetness, sweetness of the of, honey. So it's kind of like a sweet and sour. Right, and then add, add about double the amount of olive oil. And that is basically our vinaigrette and marinade that we're going to put our, put our fingerling potatoes into. And we've got our fingerling potatoes, which we've just had cooking in boiling salted water. Um, For about how long? Fingling potatoes, they're going to take about 10 12 minutes. We've drained off our potatoes so that we can handle them. They're still very, very hot. While they're still hot, we're just going to use a, use a cloth because they, they are super hot. I'm basically going to peel them while they're still warm. Once we've, once we've peeled our potatoes, mm -hmm. then we're going to take a little knife and we're just going to slice them fairly thick. You want to do that? Yep. Slice and so just, you know, here you want to go? Yeah, exactly that. Nice and nice and thin, and then we're going to pop those straight into the marinade. Oh, so that's nice. So you want the potatoes to be hot when they get in there? Right. So again, a nice little tip. You put the potatoes in while they're warm, so they're going to suck up all of that lovely marinade. So that's our potatoes. And then next up, we're going to do our mackerel. So it's time for the Spanish mackerel. Right. The most important feature of the dish. Um, so we've got this lovely Spanish mackerel that we got this morning. It's got this really nice shiny skin. Right, it's stunning. So it's a shame to do anything with it, really. It's I mean, great, great for sashimi. Uh, here we're going to obviously roast it, keep the skin nice and crispy. Interesting little 
technique to use there. We're basically going to score the skin. There's, there's three reasons for scoring the skin. The first is just presentation, it looks great. So the sec second reason is um, just to help it accelerate the cooking process. You know, the, the oil is going to get into the It's going to penetrate. Exactly that. Nice even cooking. And the third reason, probably the most important reason, is it's I know gonna... what this is. Right, <laughs> tell me. So the skin doesn't curl up. Exactly that. It's going to relax the skin so you can get a nice, flat, crisp skin. Just going to season that with some salt and pepper. So are you a salt and pepper on one side of the fish guy or salt and pepper on two sides of the fish I'm guy? Salt and pepper on both sides. So right. our pan is hot? Pan is hot. I'm going to get some extra virgin olive oil in there. Just enough to make a nice film on the bottom of the pan. And then putting the mackerel skin side down, skin side down and away from us into that oil. So that's how you can tell it's done when it starts turning right. white on the sides. Exactly that. It's starting to turn opaque. And I'm just going to flip it over. A nice golden brown color. Exactly that. For the recipe, Q&A, photos, and more, visit BehindTheBurner.com.